All right, I wanted to give you my review on the Corel Painter mobile uh, software. And I'm recording this with my iPhone, by the way. I don't have a screen recorder on my Android tablet. But uh, maybe the quality will be good enough for you to see this. And what you see here on the screen is a, a painting that I actually painted with this app on my 7-inch uh, Nextbook uh, tablet. And let me tell you a little bit uh, about the software, actually. Uh, you can create the canvas size, first of all, you know, as large as you want to, and then you can size it down. I actually created this canvas size, and to size it down, all you got to do is just take your two fingers, and you can just take and squeeze it, uh, and you can make it as large as you want. You can make it as small as you want. And... Of course, you can actually rotate it and do whatever you want to or need to do with the canvas. And uh, it's really a great program. And it's uh, you can get the free version of it. But right now, it's only available to download on the Android. Uh, I don't know if they're going to be coming out with an iPhone version of it or not. Surely they will in the future. And... Uh, but it's really good but the, the free version you only get 16 brushes with it and i'm really not sure if you can create custom variants of the brushes with the free version or not because i really dove in and went ahead and bought the pro version right off the bat because i already used painter 2015 on the desktop on my mac and uh I went ahead and wanted to get the pro version of this and it's only four dollars and 99 cents through the google play store so i thought you know why not so with the pro version you get 70 brushes but you can create your custom variants of the brushes with the pro version and you can really get more brushes than that because once you create different custom brushes out of it then you can have really unlimited brushes the only thing with the mobile version here that I found that I didn't see was a blur tool. But really that's okay because you can actually take, once you get through with your painting, you can actually send this to Painter. Uh, let me show you this option real quick. If I wanted to just smash this button here, I've got an option here where it says send to Painter. You can click that option to send to Painter and it will actually send it to the Painter uh, company or their website. And they will email you a PSD file of your painting that you did with all your layers intact. And once you do that, then you can actually open it up in Photoshop if you want to. And with all your layers, and you can actually blur out anything that you intended to blur. And so you really, the blur tool is not really a factor since you can open it up in Photoshop and, and manipulate it and tweak it that way. But the only thing that I found out while I was doing this painting was, is when you're creating your single layers, you only get so many single layers. Now, I wasn't aware of that when I started using this, so I didn't count how many single layers you could actually get. But I did get to a point to where it told me I couldn't create any more layers. So I had to wind up merging down my layers. So I had my trees uh, separated on a, their own separate layer in the beginning. And as you can see, if you look to the right of my layers panel here, you can see all three of my trees are now on one layer. So I had to take and uh, merge my layers together, uh, doing a lot of my shading, my, my shadowing, and, and my highlights and things like that. I had to merge all those down finally into one layer just so I could create uh, some more single layers to do some more uh, tweaking to this painting but you can still create a lot a lot of layers with it but you just have to after you create so many single layers you have to wind up merging your layers uh, down together so you will have room to create new single layers that's the only thing about it but that's not a big deal anyway because when I'm using the the desktop version I wind up merging my layers anyway and there's a lot of artists out there that like to paint on one single layer and use their shadows and their highlights and stuff on a separate layer. And that's not a big deal. I mean, you can always merge your layers. But it's really good. You have an eyedropper tool. You can uh, 
or you know use the color picker from that you can pick your different colors that you need you can actually change the opacity you can go in up here and you can actually click that you can drop down your opacity of your brushes uh, and things like that all you got to do is just click that opacity and you'll get this slider right here and you can move that slider to change the opacity and then you got your brush size here you can click that slider and you can change your brush size and of course you got your color here you can go in and pick what colors you need to use and you got all these other options here you can uh change different options you can see your brush go from the plain brush strokes and you can use the kaleidoscopes the patterns and all all that type of neat stuff here and it's really good uh, you got the perspective grid uh, thing right here is basically what you're looking at you can create different patterns different colorful patterns and all kind of things with it You've got a crop tool you can go in you can crop with it you got of course the eraser tool you have the fill tool you have this scale tool here you can actually go in and you can scale down uh, areas that you want to actually scale down see it's scaling my shadows now right here and you know you got the hand for the move tool you know there's a lot that is really packed into this program and it's really good for taking it on the go uh, especially if you got an idea of something you want to paint or something you want to try to draw and you got all kind of brushes let me look and show you some of these brushes here once you go in and you click you know some of these brushes right up here is the name of your brushes you'll click and you'll see the drop down you have the pencils um, you got all kind of sketchbook. You got your 2Bs, your 8B, 6B, 4B. You got all kind of uh, pencils to choose from. You have your chalk and your charcoals to choose from. It's like they went ahead and done a lot of customized brushes for you and different patterns for you. You have your pen and your markers. You got your copics. Uh, got your calligraphic uh, markers. Of course you got your paint brushes you got your oils you got your fan brushes dry bristles and angle brushes and I like this because you actually have your sprayers you got all kind of different uh, sprayer patterns here you got your soft grainy you got just all type of different sprayers and then you have miscellaneous brushes here you got some that creates really nice clouds you got fibers, gothic patterns, burlap patterns, clusters, you got scratchy patterns, bamboo patterns, you got a tube pattern, sponges and all that good stuff. And of course you got blenders, got a, uh, got a finger simulation blender, you got wet oil, a palette knife, a paper stump blender, cloth, you can add water, you can simulate adding water, a copic blender, you got watercolor brushes. You know, there's all kind of brushes here. There's over set, there's 70 brushes here on the pro version. That's what I have. And the free version, of course, like I said, you only get 16 brushes. But it's really a great program. Uh, this was the actual first painting that I did with this program. And it turned out really nice for a mobile device painting. And I really couldn't have done any better with this if I tried to open up Photoshop and did, done painting with it. You know, this is what Corel Painter is made for. It's made for painting. And so I highly recommend it. I mean, at least try the free version. I mean, you know, it doesn't cost you anything. And I would highly recommend going and getting the $4.99 Pro version. And you can do a whole lot more with it. So it's well worth the $5 basically to get the Pro version. And you can take it on the go. You can use it on your cell phone. And one thing about this painting I wanted to mention too before I wrap this up is I originally created this uh, canvas size at 1,000 pixels by wide by 531 pixels high. And then when I did uh, get the PSD file, I took it into Photoshop and I was able to, to uh, resize the canvas by 4,000 pixels wide by 2,000 pixels tall 
without losing any quality and it doesn't pixelate it or anything and I, I changed my size because I sell a lot of my paintings on Fine Art America and you need larger sizes to be able to create different sizes to sell on there so that's really handy for that so you can create it small on the tablet or your cell phone take it into Photoshop later on and you can create a larger size if you sell digital art so it's really a good program it's worth investing in and you can even do some pretty good painting with the free version as well